Good day and welcome. My name is Chris Smith and I'm um, honored and very much um, happy to be here uh, to be on this panel here of these um, very talented individuals. We're all connected in one way or the other. Um, if I may be, be so bold, let me start from my, uh, my right. We have Mr. Stephen Edwards. Stephen Edwards. Uh, Mr. Hamid Rahman. Hamid Rahman. Raman. Yeah, Raman. Not, not Raymond? No, no, not Raymond. Okay. <laughs> so Hamid Raman. Not Raymond. <laughs> we have Miss Stacy Ness. And Mr. Akil Samuel. Akil Samuel. And again, my name is Chris Smith. So we're gonna talk very quickly here about uh, the state of the performing arts industry in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, of course from our perspective. Okay? Right. So maybe we can speak to, again, from your um, particular field of, of contact. Uh, Stephen, maybe you can just tell us a, 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 a brief introduction of yourself and um, where you are coming from. Well, I'm Steve Edwards, Executive Chairman of Steve Edwards Productions. Um, I use theatre as a rehabilitation tool, inspirational tool and nurturing tool. So I work with kids, vulnerable communities, and I do a type of inspirational theater that's all based in Trinidad and Tobago, Caribbean culture. Mm -hmm. So, not, not only do you do theater, but you do theater yeah. from a, a, a different angle, if you want to call it that way. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, we use theater and technology basically mm -hmm. to really help change behavior. Mm -hmm. um, we also use it to really inspire hope and persons and, and with the coming of technology now we are into animation, we are into movies and that kind of stuff. So theatre is just a very, very powerful tool yes. that we use that are able to really um, you know, engage both the extrovert and the introvert. What challenges have you faced in trying to put forward your, your projects? Well, the, the, the number one challenge, I guess, will be funding. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as everybody, yes, everybody, 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 everybody is going, mm. <laughs> yeah. But um, I think too, what what happens is that as a country, as Trinidad and Tobago, our culture is not one where we have learned. It's like everybody want to have their own beef pie right? mm. or their own cupcake. But if we sit down together and bake a very large sponge cake, everybody can get a bigger slice. And so I've I've stopped really doing a lot of performances in Trinidad. Now I'm looking to because we have a lot of culture that we can export to Trinidad. Right. Right. right? Um, our very nature, the fact that all races live as one here is something that's unique to us. When you go to the States or you go outside, yes, you will see people of different races, but they, they don't really get involved with each other. Right. The, the thing that we have, I mean, in Trinidad is one of the only places you can find a Christmas tree in the Diwali Nagar. Nice. You understand? That, True. That's, that's who we are. Yes. Everybody has a friend that will go to by Eid or Diwali and you come by somebody for Christmas. And, and that's our culture, which is, is very unique to us. Yes. So what I, for us as a brand, what we have do is we have embraced that. Mm -hmm. So you can find, um, you know, I mean, people of African descent singing East Indian songs. You can find, you know, I mean, people of East Indian dance, um, descent dancing African to the African drums. And, and when you export that, that is something that the world has not seen. Right. So. We don't have a culture of collaborating and that's going to be a huge and huger problem coming along because right. then it can't serve as much people. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, uh, I don't think I've ever heard um, our performing arts industry compared to, to food, mm -hmm. uh, in, particular, in particular pastry. But it's, it's an interesting analogy in yeah. terms of a, a, a pie and, and I, I do agree with you. And I can relate to the fact that um, there is one pie and we're all trying to, you know, yeah eat from that pie or I suppose to, you know, um, no. make that pie. But, um, Not sorry. Not to cut your but think of it this way, right? We have one, one point something million people in Trinidad. Right. If, as a theater fraternity, we push to have just 10% of the population coming out to theater every week, we don't have enough producers to produce that, that amount of shows right. to, to service that people. Sure. But, I mean, again, uh, 
there's a trend happening though and, 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 and um, I, I'll ask Mr. Raman here maybe um, if that is so even with it because uh, you, you are a choreographer dancer choreographer dancer yeah. choreographer um, you produce shows as well yeah okay even within theatre or even maybe in film there are more and more people who are making the effort to produce stuff right is that the same happening within the dance industry well within the dance industry well, um, there are a lot of challenges mm. and what got me into producing mm. our own shows is the is disadvantages where we don't have as much opportunities mm -hmm. as others. So yeah. I, I say, you know what, I need to take my matters into my own hands and create my own shows and put it all in. Right. So that's how I started becoming a producer of a reality series called Dance Life TV. Oh, okay. I was also a part okay. of, yeah, I was also a part of um, bringing uh, TNT's number one dance group to the forefront. Right. I actually created it and we put it on Synergy TV and we invited the youth to come and you know, support it and be part of the So you, you go and be on a space by using media, maybe Correct. using technology, mm -hmm. which I think you could relate to that as well. Yeah. yeah? Great. Let me, um, <laughs> let, me, let me move, as I'm coming to the side, let me move my, my hat over on this side. I'm having a wardrobe malfunction and I have very bad hat here. <laughs> okay, all right. So, Stacy, yeah. um, you are in, we are in the midst, and we are here because of you and what what you're doing. So maybe you can speak to a little bit about um, the Roseman Vocal and Performance Academy, Performance Academy, and what they're doing and why, and why we're here and some of the challenges mm -hmm. you know that you face. Well, facing. I mean, I will start from the beginning in terms of you know how Roseman was created. Actually, mm -hmm. um, it cre it was created based on the fact that when I started teaching vocal. Um, Theater, I found that the, the program itself was lacking in so many different ways, especially for kids and teens. Mm. I felt like we weren't challenging them enough, and um, and so therefore, when I created the program, it was actually a simplified version of an adult program that we had called the Artist Development Program, mm -hmm. and where we taught um, not just vocals and theater, but interview skills, um, how to brand yourself. Um, we did the anatomy and physiology of the voice. I mean, we just we, we kind of tried to build a, a performer right. from a holistic point of view and so this is what we're trying to do with the kids now mm -hmm. and it, when we launched our kids program in February last year um, what I wanted to do was create platforms because I felt like we had such wealth of talent in Trinidad but mm -hmm. the platforms weren't really there right. they weren't strong enough um, and so we decided to get involved and, and do film we have done um, music video cover we've done a TV um, Christmas show for, for TV6, we did one, and um, we're working on our TV series right now. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that I, I face in terms of the challenges is not just funding, but um, Stephen um, also mentioned the collaboration. And this is why we're here. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are in the midst of uh, promoting our Christmas story, our theatre production, mm -hmm. but what I felt needed is like, if we could all come together and have one voice, I think that we can make a greater impact. Um, people will listen more. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's so many creators in Trinidad. There's so many talented people, but you know, everybody, like you said, is doing their own thing. Right. So I believe that if we could come together and create something that is just so unique, um, I think that we can definitely um, promote that outside of Trinidad. And, and, and I think that we could have more persons really representing Trinidad mm -hmm. on an international stage yes. as well. So. All right, so as opposed to maybe a bigger pie, maybe a pie with more ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Akil. Yes, sir. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so you have a, a specific role um, in this this effort that uh, Stacy is doing. You, yes. could, you want to talk to us about that? I sure, no problem. Um, well, for the play uh, production that Wiseman is doing, I was Stacy. Um, I am the director mm -hmm. of the show. Um, this is my first major directing debut. Right. Okay. All right. Writing. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you very much. Um, I am also a member of Stephen Edwards Production. Oh. Yes. Yeah, that is my right hand. Yes. I am one of the board members. Of Who's the sitting board. on your left? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And um, so everything is coming together finally. Mm -hmm. you know. um, working with the children has been a treat. Um, we're getting to see the different personalities and getting them to come together to create something magical. Nice. And um, and going um, 
going into relating to the um, the challenges in the theatre industry is that being a performer myself, because right. uh, I was almost 10 years I'm in the business and I'm also a part dance choreographer. And, okay. And what you know, the interesting fact about it is that being in Stephen Edwards Productions um, is almost like baptism on the fire. You have to learn as you go along and you have to keep evolving mm -hmm. as a performer because you can't stay stagnant because many a times you have seen great people because they, they refuse to go themselves mm -hmm. that they have they have no longer become relevant. Mm -hmm. So for example, um oh gosh what's this guy mean? <laughs> storyteller. <laughs> help me, help me, storyteller. Paul Keynes Douglas. Paul Keynes Douglas. Paul, Paul Keynes Douglas. Paul yeah. Keen, yes, Paul Keynes Douglas. He has now evolved his storytelling and to this day he's still relevant. Mm -hmm. And we need to see a lot of more artists doing that. And even with the collaborations, mm -hmm. we need to at least simmer down our egos and realize, okay, for the greater good, mm -hmm. let us come together right. and do something good. Yeah. Nice, yes, And yes. let me just say this, you know, at the end of the day, it all boils down to respect. I mean, the reason why I brought every one of these people here today was because I respect each and every one of them. And I would love to work with them. Sometimes the time is not available. You know, it's sometimes right. you know yeah. everything's going on. But I, I think it all boils down to just understanding each other and, 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 and respecting each other's craft and how yes. we bring what we bring to the table as well. Yeah. And um, like I said, I respect each and every one of these people here. So I really wanted to get their view because I know my challenges, I know the triumphs, and I know the things that these struggles and whatever. And I know everybody have that and everybody's journey has that in it and I feel like it's, it's, it's time that we start talking about it but not just talking about it but really coming together and doing something about it. Yes, so again what we're talking about is not just any pie but um, a better pie. So closing thoughts folks um, in terms of that better pie you know how do you see that better pie um, coming about? Well one, one thing for me is that we have to start establishing markets. Mm -hmm. Markets are very, very important. I mean, if you go, go outside and you see how much Caribbean influence is outside there. Right? So everybody in Brooklyn or whatever the case might be, they have to do a, a second generation Caribbean relation. So yes. let's say for instance, yes, I may not be from the Caribbean, but I know a Trinidadian outside there, I know a Jamaican exactly, outside yeah. whatever mm -hmm. the case might be. We have to start now turning that into a market. So if, let's say for instance, we decide we want to do a show and we want to do a show outside there, we know exactly who to contact, we know exactly that there's a market that will come to see the show. Because Beyond Trinidad and Tobago. Beyond Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. Trinidad has 1.3 million people. Mm -hmm. Some cities in the states have more than that. Exactly. Yeah. And so it's, it's for me that was the eye-opening thing. When I started to travel, I said, "Look at the amount of people. Why am I fighting up in Trinidad for these 1.3 million? This is not the world." Sure. And and we as Trinidadians and Caribbean people have a rich culture. And if we carry something, I've I've done shows now outside, and I mean. You know, people are only Caucasian yeah. and after the show they come and say oh, I love that I love that yeah, yes. you know what I mean and, and that is what we should be striving for Great. more and more more so creating a market for me is one of the things that we should really be actively doing all the time and and this this trend of using different media as opposed to just um, yes the 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 the, 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 the framework or the, the foundation is theatre mm -hmm. but Push it through another form, other forms of media. Yeah. Can definitely do that. Better pie. Better pie. Well, I can say I cannot say it better. Um, um, also, I think part of the problem is uh, making the connection because just um, uh, last night I was on Skype. I was Skype with a guy from Dubai and he was listening to voice soca music in the background, mm. right? And um, sometimes the people out there don't know how to get in contact. With them, sure. You know, right. So, how do we make that connection? Because I, I believe the demand is there. Yeah. In, in mm -hmm. So, and I think that's part of the problem as well in, mm -hmm. to get in contact with these people. So Connecting. That we can, yeah. Yes. Take Be more crowd. accessible. Correct. And social media. I mean, we all know social media and the power of it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think, um, and, and as much as people doing all this work, if they can't, if people can't connect with them, we, we can't reach them. Mm -hmm. You know. The better pie. How do you see um, Rosman um, contributing or you know? making that connection. 
Well, first of all, I think well, we, you know, the vision that we have for Rosemont is so much bigger than what we are right now. So I think it's just keeping focus on that one. Um, but also, I think definitely creating, you know, continue to create the platforms and build the bridges and and, and make the right connections with you know with with Christians as well. And I think I, I mean everybody, everybody I think can add to to that because I mean the market is important. We don't really have structures in Trinidad that really makes the the, the Market itself a viable one, mm -hmm. uh, you know, within within um, our own waters. So I think that these are the things that we really need to establish as well too, from all aspects, from the dance, from the, from the music, from the theatre as well. Um, and again, it could only happen if everybody really come together and have a, and, and really talk and begin to to start doing things in a particular. Way. So definitely more collaborations in that pie. More adding more, adding more, more quality yeah. and more more better ingredients in the pie. Yeah, Akil. <laughs> Um, yes, um, one of the one of the um, things that could make this whole thing better is understanding what time we are in. Mm -hmm. Because um, we are in creativity. Mm -hmm. Stephen and I speak about this. Um, creative age. Yes, creative age. So it's more or less what skill do you have and how how good it is mm -hmm. to making this something that is good. And the minute we in Trinidad and Tobago begin to understand that and realize that, yo, we need to catch up yeah. to what these other developed nations are doing nice. and invest in your most, in, and invest in your people, because that is your most, well, that is your most important force. Mm -hmm. And when the minute you invest in your people, yes. people will bring forth. And when once they see that the opportunities are there, they will want to do more. Yeah. Because it don't make no sense keeping the opportunities secret. Right. And you're just sharing it out to, to certain yeah. people. Yeah. And the people yes. just keeping it in their circle. Right, right. Yes, yes, yes. And then it just makes the whole process more frustrating. Again, I, 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 I understand and I could uh, relate to that. Yeah, because listen, we all here, I mean, I, I know people want to perform. Yeah. And people can perform there. There is a very strong, more and more with the with the with the advent of media and using different media, people are seeing the fact that Trinidad has talent, Trinidad and Tobago has talent. Um, but it's, and I agree with you from the standpoint that you know it, it, we need to tap into it. So we just can't just leave it in our, in, I guess, in its raw form. Mm -hmm. You know, work has to be done. I know, Stephen, you, you know a lot of work in, in, uh, in terms of training and development. And I'm sure um, you as a, uh, as a choreographer will recognize it. This choreography in itself is taking something that is raw and put it shaped it. Yeah. Put it and, and, and with you, with our young, young folks, and especially um, in today, today, yeah, in, in as much it is the creative age, it's, I mean, Trinidad Tobago right now, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty dark time. A lot of things happen. We all know what's happening here. But what we really, um, to have a light in that dark, uh, I think that's all we, what we're striving for one way or the other. Yeah, and you see, the, the thing to me is, is that it shouldn't be a dark time. Mm -hmm. Trinidad and Tobago is really poised to be one of the world leaders right now mm -hmm. in terms of just sheer creativity. If yes. you look at who we are as a people, mm -hmm. right? Anya Ayong, she came and she went up and did you see, we don't understand the odds. For a man to play that javelin and, and become an Olympic, we don't understand the mm. odds that, that we have faced. Because when you watch the population size of these people, we are small dot. Mm -hmm. And for us to come and, and perform mm. and be at that level and excel at that level, yes. it's, it's amazing. But the thing about it is that we have not learned to like ourselves. Yeah. Longevity yes. doesn't exist. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. We just live at the, in the moment. Yeah, in the and moment. we want the moment and, and to last. We more or less maybe, maybe even settle for just yeah. a little bit when they can yeah. do so much more. But you know, we, 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 we're all here to do more and we're all striving to, um, and we, we all agree that um, we have a pie. We have a pie to share. And uh, I, I'm going to stick with your, your, your comparison there. We have a pie to share. It's just a matter of, um, you know, adding more ingredients, putting more stuff inside there, quality stuff, um, putting that pie together and um, sharing it with the world. Folks, um, thank you so much, you Stephen. Thank you. Mr. Raman. Hamid. <laughs> Ramond. <laughs> not Raymond. <laughs> not Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking, you, know, you, you, you never get that um, noodles room. Ramen. Oh, I remember. All the time. All the time. <laughs> right. and, uh, here's another Friend one. Call me Paxi. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Stacy, thank, thank you so much. Akil, 
Um, thank you all for your contributions. Um, we have a lot to offer. All right. Uh, my name is Chris Smith, and from our pie, have some. <laughs> yeah.